The DEA is uh, basically trolling us at this point. Listen to what they just did last week. A synthetic marijuana product could be available for commercialization after the DEA gave a newly approved drug a Schedule II classification. On Thursday, Insys Therapeutics announced that the Drug Enforcement Administration issued an interim final rule that would put Syndros, their synthetic marijuana drug, on its Schedule II of the Controlled Substances Act. Quote, Insys is looking forward to bringing this new drug product to the chemotherapy to chemotherapy patients to help alleviate their nausea and vomiting and AIDS patients with anorexia-associated weight loss, respectively. Okay, so they're saying, yeah, real marijuana, mm, nah, we're good. But let's go ahead and approve uh, synthetic marijuana for medical use. What? If only there was, like, a real thing that was tested and hasn't led to any overdoses ever and is actually even fine for recreational reasons and definitely okay for, like, a thousand different medical reasons. No, they're like, we don't care. We're against the real thing and we're for, um, the synthetic thing, which, by the way, may be actually dangerous. We don't know. Because there's synthetic marijuana that, you know, we've done stories on where it legitimately gives people, like, seizures and shit and send them to the hospital. Um... So the synthetic is more dangerous than the real thing. Now, I don't know if this synthetic one is different, and it very well may be. But why would you not just approve the regular one? Well, we know the answer. The answer is corruption. So a lot of you guys might not know this, but the DEA and uh, Big Pharma, they're two of the biggest players in the lobbying fight against legal recreational weed and medicinal weed because their jobs depend on that being illegal. The DEA, how many people would get fired from the DEA if tomorrow we decided weed's legal? A lot, right? How, many, how much would be cut from the profits of Big Pharma if we had legal weed tomorrow? Well, a lot, because, you know, it's easier to... There are some people out there who are on pain pills, for example, who don't want to be on pain pills, and marijuana does the trick for them. So, okay, you lose money from that. You lose money from people with various ailments who smoke marijuana, and they can take care of whatever ills they have that way. It's a decent number of people. So they view it as competition to what they're doing. And they go as far as to, like, this is nothing but a corrupt backroom deal. Marijuana, which has killed nobody, uh, is a Schedule 1 drug, which means it's the worst classification, no recreational purpose, no medicinal purpose, they say, legally in the U.S. But synthetic marijuana? Oh, yeah, that's Schedule 2. You can, you can have that uh, prescribed and stuff. <laughs> By the way, Insys Therapeutics, this pharmaceutical company, they donated $500,000 to kill marijuana legalization in Arizona. By the way, anytime you see uh, a direct ballot initiative and legalized marijuana fails, it's because Big Pharma spent money on the no campaign and misled people. That's always what happens. So it passed in a lot of places, great, but Big Pharma always just spends heavy, heavy, heavy to try to defeat it because... Overall, about 60% of the American people want to legalize weed at a federal level, never mind at a state level. So this is overwhelmingly popular. But when it gets defeated, it's because of big money. And when you get deals like this cut, it's because of big money. It's not because they actually, oh, we did these objective uh, scientific studies and we found that this synthetic marijuana is better than the other marijuana for reasons X, Y, and Z, and this is okay for, for medicinal purposes. This is not okay for medicinal purposes. No, it's all corrupt backroom deals we know that recreational marijuana is safer for you, but since these guys view it as competition, not going to happen, not going to let it through. This is why you need to get money out of politics, because until you do that, you're always going to have fuckery like this behind the scenes, and it's disgusting.